Clay, that's your first EWA champion. Got something on his mind, you know, judging by the look on his face. Not necessarily in a party and mood tonight, as we anticipate words from Party Mike. So you got Party Mike and Party Man. I guess we're going to have a party. Welcome to the party. Or is it a party in EWA? I love this song, by the way. Party in the EWA. That's it. We get a drunk Miley Cyrus here. We'll be having a real party. <laughs> as I suspected. I Conley is here. What's that supposed to mean? You need to stand up and respect him. He's the most relevant champion in the Midwest. Are you going to stand up for him? There he is right 
right there. He is not only the New South Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, he is also the Nice Guy Andy Podcast Champion. Therefore, he is the most relevant champion in the Midwest, Icon Lee. And his helmet is very stylish, I might add. Two belt icons. Gentlemen, as he's uh, making his way out, we do have uh, some breaking news out of our uh, EWA uh, Twitter page. That's Elite WAKY. It seems as if Ethan Hire is not going to make it here tonight. So, um, he's not making it at all. So, that wrench that Ben Sheeran had in part one, it ha had something to do with it, sure. No, he was having microphone problems and he needed to fix the microphone. Oh, I don't know about that. Ethan Hire should just buy a better car. Dude, it, he was the one that alluded to it. It wasn't the microphone. Reminds me of the time when the Freebirds flattened Kevin Sullivan's car, flattened the tires to prevent him from winning the 1980 NWA Tag Team Champion. Oh, oh, look at that. Mark ah. Mike's trying to steal the belts. Hey, there's kids around the bushes. you like that quick recall? I did. That was beautiful. Thank you. Hey, bro, you got to do things all the way? Chill. Just chill. Take a seat. Take a seat from World 2. Follow me. Take a seat from World 2 also. Is there any ground rules? Two of us at a party? Magneto chance here at EWA. <laughs> 
No, I'm gonna take a quick, quick seat. Same way, same way the chest this time, baby. Quick seat. Ugh, let's see how this goes. Shut up, party Mike. Shut up. How about you get your ass up right here? Stop sitting down like a big back and get your ass up. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. No one. It's time for me to go. Oh, oh God! Oh, God. Oh, he slapped him again. No! I can't. Lee's got him down. He's got him down. And Party Mike trying to get out of the ring as Icon oh, Lee oh, 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 oh. now behind our broadcast position. And the EWA officials holding back a Party Mike as Icon Lee has escaped to the backstage area. Look at this, Party Mike, several officials trying to hold him back. Took four officials and one member from our security team. And here comes Party Mike again. Picked up his shoe and now he's going after Icon Lee to the backstage area. Icon's in the crowd. He's is not in the, the crowd. Backstage. That's right. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Look at here comes Party Mike. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? They're, they're going through they're the door. Gone. They're, they're going gone. downstairs. Oh, gosh. We got to get a camera down there. Party Mike and uh, Icon Lee, they're nowhere to be seen. Party Man Cam just uh, causing some issues, didn't he? Oh, that escalated <laughs> quickly, didn't it, Bobby Blade? Party Man Cam knows how to instigate, I think. He's an instigator, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Y'all just sitting there going, Y'all sound like seals. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. All right, we're going to take a reset here as Mercy's trying to deconstruct the the partying with Cam set. Yeah, look like a Jimmy Buffett parrot head party gone wrong. Uh huh. That that went south quick. Well, while we have a few minutes here, we want to extend our deepest sympathies and condolences to the family and friends of Kevin Sullivan who passed away just 24 hours ago from this taping and Bobby Blade uh, if you wouldn't mind take a few seconds and just you'd like to speak on Kevin Sullivan and his contributions to the wrestling world. Kevin Sullivan was an amazing athlete whether you know him as the taskmaster the head of the Dungeon of Doom or you know him as the games master the head of the varsity club he was an amazing talent amazing mind He's one of the people that you immediately think of when you think of smart people, smart minds in the wrestling business. And I'm very sorry to see that uh, he has passed on. One of, the, one of the greatest minds in the pro wrestling business belonged to Kevin Sullivan. Absolutely. There you see him. The cut man Zachary Don. Yes, what a fantastic intro theme. Cut man Zachary Don, uh, of course having a battle with Party Mike last month here at the EWA Gold Rush. And now Zachary Don looks to maybe move on because, gentlemen, a hometown favorite coming up as his opponent. We got to we gotta listen to his song there. I was going to whistle it. <laughs> can you whistle that one? I can. <laughs> Oh, I'll be a boy. 
Stop. And whenever you got a chance to see him in action, whenever you got a chance to see him in action, he was all about it. It's okay. You're fine. You are fine, my friend. Zachary Dawn, the cut man in Marvelous Marcus Johnson here in EWA. Prime to 10. One more Bobby Blade here at Tiny Rose. Continue on his badass ringside. Ooh, okay, I'm ready to go. It's up. All good, man. It's the good memories. It's the good memories. Yep. I apologize. Yeah, Marcus Johnson was my dad's favorite wrestler. He loved Marcus ever since he first saw him. It's the charisma. It's it's the athleticism. The whole package. Uh huh. Absolutely. Oh man. Zachary Don not having anything to do with Marvelous Marcus Johnson's Cuban Shuffle. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do the Cuban Shuffle in a king. Well, you have now. <laughs> We are getting set for action here. The cut man, Zachary Don, Marcus Johnson. Marcus falling just a little bit short uh, last month in his, oh, sorry, falling a little bit short a couple months ago. He had some title opportunities here with the EWA. And uh, wasn't, it a, wasn't it the fact that Ben Sheeran kind of pulled the wool again? over Marcus Johnson's eyes and say he didn't have a shot at an EWA title, but he had to wrestle Bomani for the Saudi Arabian Championship. That's absolutely right, he did. You know, uh, I usually root against Marcus Johnson, but considering the circumstances, I gotta pull for him tonight. Absolutely. Marcus Johnson and the cut man, Zachary Dahl. Zachary Dawn trying to win the approval of the fans. And marvelous Marcus Johnson taking his turn. And something you rarely hear, a few boos in the crowd. I know. Marvelous Marcus Johnson, that's a somewhat shocking reaction. Is it because I'm pulling for him now? No, no not <laughs> at all. All right. 
right, gentlemen, let's get it underway here. Collar elbow on a Saturday night here in EWA. Saturday night's all right for a fight. Side, head, side headlock by the cut man. Oh, hanging on there. Side headlock takeover beautifully done from the cut man. Turns that into a head scissor, so. Sweet one. Trying to bring him over once more there. That Marcus right out of it there. Got a leg sweep of his own. Cutman goes for cover and got him one count. It's a stalemate at this point. Tell you what, don't look past the Cutman. Yeah. Zachary Don. Yeah. Both men seem very evenly matched at this point. Cutman still looking for his first win in EWA, but if he was able to get that over marvelous Marcus Johnson, what a win it would be. Absolutely. Side to the go. Marcus trying to fight out here. Yep. Big shoulder tackle. Marcus, and another. Marcus right back up though. Oh. Crisscross. Oh. Oh, look at that. Ducks the clothesline. Reverse hip toss. Beautifully done. We have not seen a crisscross in an EWA ring, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I saw a crisscross was 1972 <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> At the Omni? At the Omni, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice hit toss there. Now pick up from Don. Takes him right down with a clothesline. Starts firing up with left hands. I did not realize that Zachary Don was a southpaw. I did not realize, realize that either. Look at Zachary Don go now. He's in control. Marcus Johnson been a uh, thorn in the side of the Ben Sheeran brand. Yeah, look at that right there, though. That's not a side headlock. That's a straight up choke. Yeah, he. Honestly, if he were to, if he were to put all this weight down, that would have almost have been a bulldog there. Yeah, bulldog choke. And Zachary Don just throwing down. Marvelous Marcus Johnson. Johnson clutching his head right now. Getting right back on him though, very smartly, not letting him breathe, not letting him rest. That go behind, a roll up, one. School boy in there, there's one of Don's own. Two, they got a two. And rarely do we see somebody match the speed and oh, the oh. of Marvelous Marcus Johnson, but I gotta say, Zachary Don's doing a hell of a job right now. Yes, he absolutely is. Even though he's on the floor right now, you know, Marcus Johnson's up in the ring. Well, now he's on the floor. He is matching uh, Marcus Johnson uh, hole for hole pretty much. He's got a really good chess match going on here tonight. Speaking of a chess match, Don thought he had him there. Marcus Johnson able to duck out of the way. Shoulder into the cut man, up and over with that sunset flip, the count, two. Kick out two. You know, I once won a match with a sunset flip back in 1962. Did you ever hit it again? Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, big leg lariat from Zachary Dawn. Bobby Blade, we've talked about the athletic ability between both competitors. We've talked about speed. But how much of this match is veteran versus you? Excuse me. Well, I'll tell you what, though. I mean, you know, you think you talk about speed, you talk about all that and everything, but, uh, you know, the veteran aspect does come into play because Marcus Johnson's been around a lot longer than uh, the cut man has. So, you know, in my opinion, he's got the advantage, you know, in experience. However, cut man has the youth behind him. So therefore, you know, it, it kind of evens out a little bit. Oh, look at Don putting the food there. Talk about the flexibility of Zachary Don. Good night. 
Both men winded their tire here. The yep. Look at the face yeah. on Marcus Johnson. He's in some pain right now, showing on his face, but uh, the cut man doesn't care. He's coming right back for him. Both men at a breakneck pace in this match. Oh, look at that up and over by Johnson. Ducks under. Big yeah. shoulder tackle. And another. Let's talk about the height there. Oh, my. Look at that drop kick. That was on the button. Somebody would say that could be picture perfect, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps over. Followed up by a next snap. You notice with that next snap there, there's a kick out of two. With that next snap, he got some elevation. And in doing so, as he brought him down, brought him down with more force. Absolutely. And two, when he was going over with the next snap, he actually pushed down on the shoulders of Zachary Don. You know, almost kind of folded him in half. Marcus Johnson may have uh, qualified for the 2028 Olympics. Right. <laughs> oh, my. But not like that. Oh, oh my. Oh. Just drops the forearm. One, two. This has got to be it. No. Whoa. Two. That was close. Whether you like him or hate him, you've got to be impressed right now with Zachary Don. I'm always impressed. Every time I've seen Zachary Don, I've been impressed by his skills. Oh, look at that. It's under. Backslide one. Two. Oh, kick out a two on the backslide. Here's a roll up from Don. One, two, and a kick out. Notice he put all of his weight there. He did. That was crisp. Fisherman suplex. One, two. No, kick out at two once again. Nice Fisherman suplex. And here's a roll up. One, two. Wait. He reversed it. One, two. Go. Oh, that was the... There was the three count there. We had about six or seven two counts in a row there, and then Marcus Johnson was lucky enough to get the three count. see the frustration from Zachary Don, but he should not be going backstage with his head held down. No, absolutely that not. That was one massive effort from Zachary Yeah, Don. heck of an effort by the cup man. Right now, your winner, Marvelous Marcus Johnson, eight minutes. Time of the match. And it's time to celebrate the victory with Marvelous Marcus Johnson. He always comes when you love Mr. Marcus Johnson. He loves the camera. He loves the camera. Yep. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Well, Ben Sheeran's back out. Well, he can be back out here as many times as he wants. He's the boss. Ben Sharon with the mic at the kendo stick. Reception for Ben Sharon here at the Telford YMCA. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus, as you're well aware, I run a very tight ship here. Marcus, I saw you! 
Fired. You've got to be kidding me. Are you serious? Marcus is fired. Get out. Ben Sheeran overstepping his boundaries once again in EWA. I can't believe this. I can't either. Marcus Johnson has been fired. He's been fired from the EWA. Marcus, Marcus, you know, I usually don't question Ben Sheeran's choices and everything, but I, I kind of question this one. And marvelous Marcus Johnson being held back by security as he was trying to go after Sheeran. Despicable. That's what that is. It's despicable. The tyranny continues with the Ben Sheeran brand in EWA. Yeah, yeah. Marcus going after him. Oh gosh. Down you know, the stairs they went. You gotta think what's going on in that locker room right now. And I have to think what is next from the Ben Sheeran brand. What is next? I, I, I don't know. First, they take out Pitbull, yep. Omega. And Ethan Heyer and Birdos, they're not here. And Marcus Johnson's been fired. about him and his mother in Psycho. Oh my gosh. What? Norman Bonnie. Bates, it's Norman Bates. No, Nathan. Nathan Bates. Nathan. Oh. Nathan Bates, well nobody told me this. He looks I just like said Norman it. Bates. Nathan Bates has some, uh, has some ops there though, guys. Yep. You probably think he's related to Kathy Bates. Why not, he does like fried green tomatoes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's about time to get crazy. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Here we go. We're about to get nuts. We're about to get nuts right here. <laughs> no good. Jacob Ratliff makes his return to the EWA tonight here. In Richmond, Kentucky, Bobby Blade, I know you're on fire right now. I love Jacob Bradloff. He is no uh -oh. good. He's uh -oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, my oh. God. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He just launched him across the ring. This is amazing. There's a scoop. Slam there! Threw him through the mat. Jacob Ratliff is on fire. Look at him. Jacob Ratliff, excuse me, Jacob Ratliff, toss around Nathan oh. like a wet noodle and just turned him inside out with that clothesline. Yes. Holy crap! Yes. Ratliff has him up. Yeah. Oh my! It's the Jacob Ratliff insanity here in Richmond tonight. Oh, he's not done. He's not done. Oh. oh, he's calling for the broken bow. Oh, 
next have, time. Have you seen this? He's got him on. Oh! Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Nice insecurity there from Bates. Bates trying to fight back. Whoa! Oh! DDT from Bates. Very nice DDT from Bates. Nathan Bates going up to the top rope here. Uh-oh. Nathan Bates saying, do y'all want to see it? What are we going to see here? Bates has him lined up. Bates. Whoa. Oh, he was looking at his 450. Oh, my God. Oh. Did you see that? The broken bow knocks him out. He is oh. out. That Dude. man is out. Good. Hold on. I got a pop for this. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What a return! Oh, for no good Jacob Ratliff. Time of the match: one minute and forty-two seconds. No oh, good Jacob Ratliff. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> wow. What a contest <laughs> for Jacob I talk, I talked. To Nathan Bates before tonight, and I said, "What are you looking for to get out of EWA making your debut?" He said, "I want to get good. I want to get better. How can you get good against no good Jacob Ratliff?" I, I, you can't. You, you learn. Can't. You learn how to fight against Jacob Ratliff is what it is. Gentlemen, that's going to do it for part two of EWA Prime, our tenth episode. We got two big matches coming up in our third part. Hang out. We'll see you next week with EWA Prime, our 10th episode, part three. Stay tuned, and we'll be back.